I, and I'm not being disingenuous by saying this, but I think if you ever thought you were really powerful, you, you, you probably get lost a bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, I think every shoot I do, I mean, I was on a shoot yesterday and I learned something from it. Every shoot I do, I learn something from it. So I don't ever think that I'm powerful in that way. When I was in the studio yesterday and I was photographing 10 models who had never been in a magazine before. Wow. Um, and I would say that maybe two of them might, I mean, I think the two of them probably have a really good career ahead of them if that's mm. the way they choose to go. I think what's really, really hard about modeling now is the lack of longevity, sure. is the lack of nurturing. And, you know, Neely's a big nurturer. So I, I think if I was a model agency, that's what I would be heartbroken about, is that you're in, you're out. But I also think that the girls who have lasted, who have, who have made a career out of modeling, they, they do have something extra. You know, people think that you've got to be sort of six years old and be extraordinary. You don't. But you can work away at something and that. get good. And honestly, I wasn't good at fashion, and now I've got a job in fashion. So you can... It's a craft, like yeah, anything else. It's a learning else. curve as well, it's I a, guess, isn't it? Everything's a learning curve. You never, ever stop learning. And that's... You know, every, like I just said, every shoot I go on, I think, mm, next time I'm not going to do that, or next time I'm going to do that. I don't want to be a dinosaur and say... Um, you know, I don't think it's a great thing. I think it's a fantastic thing. I think anything that democratizes fashion, mm -hmm. makes it less, less elitist, has to be a good thing. But like anything, it has to be used in the right way. I mean, honestly, when I first had an interview at Condé Nast, the first question I was asked was, who do you know here? I mean, I was so shocked. I went, nobody. And they went, what, nobody? And I went, no, nobody. <laughs> I mean, thank God that has stopped. You know, and that was one of the first things I did. You know, I don't want to see any note from HR saying she's the son, daughter, she's got blonde hair, blue eyes. I want to see, you know, if somebody writes me an interesting letter, you know, giving me their CV, or if somebody wants to show me what they do, I'll look at anything. I will look at anything. So I think in that way, social media is brilliant. And probably like everything, it's filled with a lot of rubbish and it's filled with a lot of brilliant things. But I think anything that gives you a platform... How, how wonderful is that? We didn't have that when we were growing up. So, you know, I think that's got to be, got to be wonderful. And it's just how you sift through it and how you, you know, and you do something that's worthwhile. I think that's really true of fashion, is that it is a collaboration. It is the sum of parts. You are as good as the team that you surround yourself. You're not isolated at all. I think what's really interesting about photography now is there's a total backlash about um, Photoshop, mm. which I'm really pleased about, actually, because it was getting too much. It was getting too much for the reader, it was getting too much for girls, it was getting, it was getting too much for photographers. Uh, it was so formulaic, and anything that's formulaic is dull. So what we've seen, which actually I haven't seen since the 90s, since really when there was that whole raft of photographers like Corinne Day and David Sims and Nigel Shaffron and there's this raft of photographers now that are so frigging talented and they're not doing Photoshop things, they're not doing things on huge budgets. It's, they literally are going into Hyde Park and taking a picture of a girl in the leaves. And current favourite model? Oh, God. It's a I, tricky one. I love them all. Actually, we photographed a beautiful new model called Janai yesterday, who I think, I think she's going to be big. Good. She's beautiful. That's interesting. Yep, Janai. Um, how about current favourite designer? Is there one that you always go back to, or is there somebody new that you're really interested um, in? Luckily, in London, there's always somebody new. I mean, Palmer Harding, who we just gave the Vogue fun yeah. to, is brilliant. I mean, I will always look at somebody like Christopher Kane and think, how does he do that season after season? Every time. Because he's hardcore and he's tough and there's nothing referenced or retrospective about him. And I love where he's come from and I love yeah. where he's going to. I think I admire him a lot.